Hello Shopify store owners how are you doing today hope you are doing great and selling a lot of stuff on your Shopify store so this video is for all of those Shopify merchants who are having issues with the shipping discounts and they are in a pain because they have been getting a lot of abandoned carts and checkout due to the high unflexible shipping charges and in this video I'm going to show you guys an app through which you can resolve all of your shipping discount issues. If you're seeing a lot of abandoned checkout, then this app gonna completely resolve all of your problems. And this app, which I'm reviewing is called Octalize Shipping Discounts. So that's the app. And it's going to boost your conversion rate with the shipping discounts, which you can add. And it's going to auto apply the discount based on the conditions to trigger and apply the shipping discounts automatically, right? And we have option to Art shipping discount based on cart total amount, order weight, cart item quantity, order quantity, and there are multiple conditions which I'm gonna show you guys later in that video. And the first uh, issue, the first case which I want to show you guys, which is the default behavior of the Shopify. So when you have two products from different shipping profiles, by default, Shopify adds up the shipping pricing of these products. So what do I mean by that? So let me show you. So that's my development store. And if I go to settings, then I click on shipping and delivery. And here we have general and second profile, right? We have this general shipping rates and custom shipping rates. So these are the two different profiles and we have different products on these profiles. So in my case, I have these first two products from different profiles. This one is from the general one and this one is from the custom one. Now when I add this product to the card, so it's already in the card here. I'm going to first remove my old products from the card. Okay. Now my card is empty. Now I'm going to add this one, this product here first. And now let's click on add to cart. Let's go to checkout. And here you can see it's showing $15 as shipping charges, which is completely fine. Not an issue. Now let me show you what happens when you add another product from a different shipping profile. Let's go back to the store. And Let's click on this other product here and then add this one to the cart as well. Now let's go to checkout. And here you can see that instead of showing just $15 Shopify added up the total shipping charges to and made it to $30 which will increase the checkout abandonment and this visitor is going to piss off and then skip your store that the shipping charges are really high. But you can resolve this issue really easily with the app which I have shown you guys and I'm going to show you how you can do that. So let's open up the app page. So that's our app which is called shipping discounts. And here we will configure our first shipping discount. So click on configure your first shipping discount. I'm going to name it test shipping discount just to see if it works fine. And now we have to select the condition. So we have all of these different conditions where it's cart total amount. We can trigger it based on order weight, carts, item quantity, order discount, all of these different conditions. And I'm going to show you a few of them real soon later in the video. So for this one, let's select always and then click on actions. And from here, we will add apply discount to all shipping methods. And from here, we will go to custom shipping rate. And now we will add $15 as our shipping price, right? Now we can also combine this with other discounts. So let's suppose you have product discount already added to the card. You can enable these from check marks here. If you uncheck it, it's not going to work if you already have the product discount. But for now, we don't have any product discount added yet. So I'm just going to save it and test it out to see if it works. Now let's click on save changes. 
and now let's go back to our checkout and hit refresh now you can see that it automatically added the shipping discount and you can see that it's crossed the $30 and showing $15 which is from this app cool right so that's how you can resolve the default different profile shipping issue which Shopify has also guys Shopify create similar issue when you have multiple locations and if a customer adds products from different locations which customer is not aware of it's going to be charged additional for the shipping charges so let me show you what I mean so if I go to settings and then click on locations you can see I have these three different locations so what I'm going to do now I'm going to create a sample product one for Alabama warehouse and the other one for California warehouse and when we will add those products to the cart, it's going to add uh, additional shipping charges, right? It, it's going to combine different shipping charges for different products. So let's add one of the product here. So I'm just going to go to products and then add some of the sample products. Click on add product. And let's add a female dress product. Upload the media. Let's add the dummy prices like $50 for now. And here we have these three different warehouses showing up. I'm going to add five item of this on Alabama warehouse and then click on save. Okay. It's saying media is still uploading. Let's wait for it to be uploaded. Okay, it's uploaded. Now let's hit save. Perfect. Our product is created now for our Alabama warehouse. Now I'm going to create a different product for our California warehouse. Let's do that. Let's add another product. Let's add a t-shirt. I'm going to upload the image of our t-shirt. Let's give it dummy prices like $40 for now. And for the quantity, I'm going to add five items to my California warehouse. Perfect. Let's hit on save. Great. Now if I go to inventory. And you can see that on Alabama warehouse, we have this item and five items are available. And if I go to my California warehouse, let's hit refresh. I'm not sure why it's not showing the other product on that warehouse. Okay. You can see that it's showing this now t-shirt product as five, but we don't have this item because it's showing as zero here, right? Now let's add these two products to the cart and go to the checkout to see what it does. Let's first add this female dress. So I'm going to search for female dress on my store and here's the product. Let's add this product to the cart. Go to checkout. Okay, we have address of New York already added. Okay, it's adding uh, here the discount. The reason why is that because we didn't deactivate the discount previously. So I'm going to go to the shipping discount, which we already created. And let's deactivate that because it's adding the automated discount. Okay, this discount is now deactivated. And now let's refresh our checkout. Okay, we have 15.99 as shipping price for this product, right? Now let's add the other product, which is from our California warehouse. So here's the product. I'm going to add it to the cart. Go to checkout. And here you can see that it's adding the shipping prices, which is not good for the consumer behavior. So we can simply add the discount in the same way, which we added 
like uh, we will just have to create a new shipping discount if you want to or we can use the same shipping discount which we already created so i'm just gonna click activate and then it's going to add discount on its own i hit refresh and here you can see that we added these new custom fixed pricing custom shipping rate and set it to be discount value we can also make it to be percentage so if we want to let's say give 20 percent discount or 25 percent discount we can do that as well so if i select percentage and add in 25 percent here and then hit save and let's go back to the checkout hit refresh And here you can see that it added the 25% discount, right? We can also add the fixed amount in discount. So let's say we just want to give $10 as discount, right? And let's hit save. Let's go back to the checkout, hit refresh. And you can see that it added ten dollar as the fixed discount which we mentioned it to do right also we have a lot of different triggers so i'm gonna test few of the other triggers which we can okay now let's delete these products from the card and let's deactivate this discount here and then create a new discount based on card total amount so i'm gonna give it a condition that if my card amount goes above $150 add uh, free shipping, right? So let's create that type of discount. So I'm going to click on add new free shipping for more than $150, right? And now we're going to give it condition that if cart total amount is greater than 150, then apply discount to all shipping methods and we're gonna make it 100% discount on our shipping price right now let's hit save and now let's test it out so I'm going to add some product to the cart uh, let's say we add this product And if I go to checkout, you can see that we have $15 shipping showing up. Now, if I increased my card to more than $150, let's add two more items and then add to cart. Then go to checkout. You can see that it's showing that free shipping for more than $150, which is the title of our discount, which we created. And we have... Uh, remove all of the shipping charges so there is no shipping charges when we have more than 150 dollar similarly we have multiple triggers and condition so this one is card total amount we can do that based on order weight as well so if you have weight added on your product you can add the condition based on order weight as well you can add the discount based on card items quantity you can add the discount based on collection and you can also add the discount based on the country, region, address, all of these conditions which we have where you can apply this discount to your Shopify store. Okay, now let's test one more condition, one more condition to see if it works fine. And now I'm gonna check if, uh, okay, we can target a specific collection as well. So I'm going to check if the product is from specific collection and apply the discount based on that. So let's first deactivate this discount and now let's take a look at our collections click on products and then click on collections okay here we have our collection and i'm going to create a new collection here which will be female collection let's say right click on save and i'm going to add one of the product the dress product which we added so let's add this one and uh, perfect it's added 
let's go to the cart and remove go to the cart okay our product is already in the cart now if i go to checkout you can see that it's adding 15.99 now i want to see if that product is in the cart i want to give shipping charges for free right I don't want to charge any shipping fee if this is the product or the product is from the collection female, right? Which is the collection of this product. Now let's do that. And let's go back to our shipping option here. So I'm going to open the shipping discount app. And here I'm going to create a new shipping discount. Let's say uh, check collection and add free shipping check female collection and add free shipping and in the condition section let's click on this drop down here and then scroll down where we have this collection option and now we are going to select is one off and search our collection here the collection is female click on select perfect and now the action is to make it 100% free shipping when this collection is selected, right? And apply discount to all shipping methods. There are other options as well. Like you can also apply this discount to specific shipping method or you can do that for all shipping method except these. But for now, I'm going to select apply discount to all shipping methods, right? And I'm going to give 100% discount and then click on save again if you want to combine this discount with the product discounts and order discounts you have to check mark these check boxes otherwise it's not going to properly work okay now let's save changes and now if i go to checkout and then hit refresh you can see that it's checking that this product is from female collection and adding free shipping cool right so that's it for the video guys where I showed you guys how you can add a uh, shipping discount based on different conditions and trigger them based on your own need. I hope you would like this video and uh, make sure to check this app out. Link will be in the description. Until next video, have a great day.